got a little bit of a toast. It's nice and spongy too. We've got a wonderful smoky flavor from the charcoal. Charcoal makes everything better. That's the only way to go for grilling. They say breakfast is an important meal of day, and in Terengganu, it is the most important meal of day. So important that some of the dishes can only be found in the morning. And in this episode, we are going to break it down for you. Sit back, relax, grab some snack too, you might get hungry. I love savory for breakfast, especially if there's rice. Here we are, getting our breakfast at Kakpa for nasi dagang. Here you go. The nasi dagang is a traditional breakfast dish here in Terengganu and in the east coast of Malaysia in general. We got two orders of the nasi dagang. So nasi dagang translates to trader's rice. And this one is the white rice that has fenugreek seeds in it. I'm really excited to taste it. And we also got the nasi kuning, which is yellow, colored with turmeric. And on the side it comes with achar, the pickled cucumber. And then we have two bowls of the ikan, the fish. It looks really nice, it's nice dark gravy. It's kind of like a color mixed between you know, brown and orange. You got these big chili potty right here, the whole chili potty, that bite into those. The fish, when you cut into it, is quite meaty. And I can't even talk about it anymore, I just gotta take a bite. I'm gonna try the rice first. Mmm, there's a nice coconut aroma. Mm. Try a bite of the ikan by itself first and taste it. Nice fish flavor, yeah, definitely very firm, meaty fish. Slight sweetness, but actually a nice mix between sweet, savory, spicy. I'm gonna try the pickled cucumber. Nice and crunchy, slight tang, not overwhelmingly tangy. It's good stuff. Wow, that broth is really good. Now it's gonna be the great mix. going for this mega bite. Now, all that rice, all that fish. Mm -hmm. Sweet, salty, and spicy. This is really a dish where the whole package, you gotta have it all together to really enjoy it. Because having that contrast of the fish, you know, the sweet and the spicy and the savory, you mix that in with that coconut rice, it goes so well together. I think it's better than the the whole dish is better than the sum of its parts. It's better all together like this. Really nice. Definitely see why it's a popular breakfast. Ooh. Nasi kuning smells very aromatic. Wow. Let's take a taste of it by itself. Mmm. Oh, it's just great. You get that turmeric. Tastes a little cinnamon in there. Wow. I almost, I think I might like this rice better than the nasi dagang rice, actually. I'll try it with a little bit of the sambal, too. I love savory for breakfast. Up next is Chinatown for this sweet, savory, iconic Terengganu breakfast. Butter, kaya, soft bun. This is the answer to the Terengganu version of the Kaya Toast breakfast here. So it's the Terengganu Bao. So what we like is these, they look very soft, but they're quite toasted on the outside. We put them all together. So you, when the order is a set, you get six of them. We open it up, put the butter in there, slather the Kaya, rip it like that. The Kaya and butter are already melted together. Mmm, wow. I love the texture of the top. It's got a little bit of a toast. It's nice and spongy too. It's a nice like salty sweet combo with that kaya and butter. Mm. Very nice pandan kaya here. Nice change of pace from the typical kaya toast. Really like it. Definitely must try here in Terengganu. Come here in the morning, it's bumping here in Chinatown in the morning. This is when Chinatown's at its liveliest. Next, one of Terengganu's colorful dish that you shouldn't miss. How colorful this rice is. We are here at Nasi Minyak John, located inside 
Serai Wangi. Mm, I see Minyaksa dish you're gonna see a lot here in Terengganu. We were driving down the road, you can see it on the roadside stalls. Nasi is rice, minyak means oil. But from what we've read, this rice is cooked with ghee, clarified butter, and it's a very distinct pink color. I believe they use a beetroot juice in this. It's really colorful. From reading about it, it's a dish that's traditionally served at weddings, what we've heard. But you can see it very common here, especially for breakfast. We love these colorful rice dishes, so I'm gonna take a whiff of it. Mmm. It's got a really interesting aroma, very aromatic, kind of almost like a biryani-ish kind of smell to it. That's very fitting because on the side we have these two curries right here. You have this chicken leg curry and we have the beef curry. I just try this rice first before we mix in anything. There's the different hues of it, so it's like little lighter bits and you have the darker bits of the pinks. I'll take a little clump right here. Mmm. Definitely tastes like there's some cinnamon in here. Very nice, and it definitely has that, you know, to live up to its name, the minyak means oil, definitely has got more of an oily texture. This reminds me definitely a bit of like a biryani, but not as heavily spiced. I'll try a little bit of this sambal that's on the side. Whoa, totally not expecting that flavor. It's a little spicy, but it's not, not necessarily tangy and not necessarily like a typical sambal. It's very unique. Almost like a watermelon-y taste to it. I doubt there's watermelon here, but it has that kind of consistency and taste to it. It's not very strong. Try some of this chicken. Got a whole chicken leg here soaking in this curry. Mmm. Ooh, strong flavor of clove in here. It's a very nice curry. I'm gonna try some of this beef. Beef very tender. I can just feel it in my fingers. Just, just go like this. You can barely put any force there, and the beef is just falling apart. Wow, oh, so soft. Very beefy flavor. It's a little bit spicy, but I can already tell these two curries are gonna go great on top of this rice. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Notice about the curries here too is that it's more liquidy. It's not really that thick rich, heavy curry. It's more on the liquidy side. So first we have the chicken. It melds really nicely together. This whole dish has more of like an Indian type flavor to it. That beef curry has got such a rich, deep beef flavor. It's not overwhelmed by spices. You just, if you really like a nice beefy broth, this is for you. You mix it in with that rice. It's almost with how liquidy it is, it's almost turning to like a little bit of a rice soup. I'm gonna mix in a little of the sambal too. I'm still blown away by this sambal, how unique it tastes. I've never tasted sambal like this here in Malaysia yet. It does not have any sort of a fishy flavor. It's really almost fruity. Let me try the sambal. This is not sambal. It's sweet. It's, it's more of like tomato paste. Sambal, curry, beef. Wow. Beef so tender, I don't even have to use spoon and fork to cut it. This episode wouldn't be complete without this next stop, a truly iconic dish that all of our grab drivers recommend. We are here at Fauzi Nasi Kerabu, regarded as one of the top 50 street food in the world. So of course, it's a must eat for us here in Kuala Terengganu. We almost have everything but the kambing. I asked the gentleman who's in charge of the grilling and he said they always run out at 8 o'clock in the morning. It is best to come here early in the morning. This is actually our fourth time here. You can tell the spot, Fauzi, is special right before you even walk in the door. You see that cloud of smoke. You see that freshly grilled chicken and beef <laughs> right in front over charcoal. That's how you know it's gonna be good. And the key, just like Jumi said, get here early. You know, it was our fourth time here. Our first two tries, we got here, we ate, but we came later towards closing. So all the 
chicken and beef. You don't even get to see it grilling in front. That's part of the whole experience. You gotta come here early for that. And also when you're in line and you're getting all your stuff here, make sure they have the solo colada. This. So I'm gonna break down everything that's on this beautiful plate of nasi kataboo. Incredible striking thing is the rice. It's blue. It's from the butterfly pea flower, natural coloring. You also have this, this mix of ulam. That's all the fresh vegetables and herbs. So there's bean sprouts and other herbs in here. Then you pick out your meat. So we got a mix of dayan bakar, the grilled chicken, and the daging bakar, the grilled beef. And we also have the telur masin, the salted egg. We have the solo colada, which is really interesting. It's actually a green pepper that's stuffed with minced fish and coconut. And on the side, we also have this pickled garlic. And you just serve that yourself. And then on top, they put sambal, curry, and they put buru, the fermented anchovy sauce in here. What I do is gonna mix this all together. Eat your hands, the best way to eat this. First, I'm gonna try the nasi mixed up here with the ulam and also the coconut. Take a big bite. Mm. Mm. This is just phenomenal. You have that really earthy, fresh kick from the ulam. Really sharp herbs in there. You get nice crunchy texture from the cabbage, the bean sprouts, and the blue rice itself. It doesn't have that much of a flavor to it. That's more for the look. And uh, you also have the spiciness from the sambal in here. And that coconut just gives it, rounds it all together. It gives it just such incredible flavor. You can just eat this nasi kerubu by itself. We try this solo colada as well first. Mm. This is just amazing, that minced fish. You can taste a little bit of that fish flavor, but that coconut is so sharp. Almost reminds me a little bit like, like a fish dumpling with coconut in it. That's, that's what the filling tastes like. Now let's try a big bite of this beautiful ayam bakat. Incredible charcoal flavor, slight bit sweet. Tastes like there's some lemongrass in here. It's incredible ayam bakat, some of the best I've ever had. Now the daging. Beef is not too tender, it's got a little bit of chew to it, which I like. It's got a wonderful smoky flavor from the charcoal. Charcoal makes everything better. That's the only way to go for grilling. Mm. Three things I love about this dish, uh, I just love the freshness of it. It's almost like a rice salad. So if you saw our video where we ate nasi ulam and KL, put a card up here if you wanna check that out. It reminds me a lot of that. We also have keropok here, and it's up to you if you want to mix it with your meal. Keropok is a fish cracker, really strong fish taste, and you can mix it with your food, with your meal. Also got the show-stopping drinks right here. You have the te hijau peng, so that's the ice green tea, and we have the te peng jebok. That's the it's like a te tarik, 